And then to make fat matters even funnier and even more strange, academics seem to kind of like cross over into my world when it comes into the streetwear fashion side of things because he then started getting into it, Lucas Sabat. Yeah, you heard that, right? Academics getting into it with Luca fucking so bad. How flipping random is that, right? I don't think anyone had that on their bingo card for 2022. The end of 2022 always goes off with a bang. So I guess in the midst of all the drama that Academics was having with No Jumper, Adam 22 and the rest of the cast and whatever it may be, and Flocker, of course, he also had a bit of beef on the side with Young Miami because I think at the time, news was revealed or did he revealed that he was giving birth to another kid and then the internet went into an uproar because obviously you know he's meant to be having this situation ship going on with uh, young miami from city girls and there's this other lady involved but the lady that got pregnant and had the kid is a completely different person so you know naturally as the internet does they decide to be mean and decide to pile on to young miami and call her out because she's been trying to from what we see in public she's been going out of her way to press diddy to basically claim her in some way shape or form even though he seems to be more open to making it open you know relaxed and whatever it may be just having fun and doing whatever it may be and then in the midst of all of that backlash she was getting online somehow academics gets involved and i think he you know he goes on one of his rants where he maybe talks a bit too spicy she doesn't respond well to it she goes back at him and they're going back and forth on the internet saucy santana gets involved which is funny because you know if, if they're gonna have a fight academics and saucy santana i'm definitely got my money on saucy santana i have to be honest i think he could definitely fight there's something about those i, I think he's is he from atlanta i'm gonna say atlanta let me just say atlanta there's something about those gay guys that grew up in atlanta they have to put up with a lot of mess they have to defend themselves in the street like i think those guys have hands i think they're those kind of dudes who you think they did you know you think they can't fight just because they're gay and they're extremely effeminate but when it comes down to you know putting the putting their fists up they can they can they can get busy because they've been fighting all their life so in the midst of all that drama lucas about decides to get involved and he tweets what we see here on the screen and i'll read it out for those of you just listening to the audio pod he says as following why does dj academics only pick smoke with females i ain't never seen him keep the same energy of another man which is like the constant meme that's going around now on the internet but since i've been keeping more you know keeping more of an eye on academics and what he's been doing and kind of listening and watching some of his content that's not necessarily true just recently he went super hard at little baby i think too hard because eventually if they ever do end up crossing paths he can never ask for a conversation that's going to be on-site situation i'm sure he's aware of it but the way he's been going at little baby was extreme so he went really hard at little baby before that he was going really hard at um mick mill he's obviously had past smoke with other rappers that maybe aren't as popular um i can think of a d savage obviously he went super hard in that and um, he had the issues with nav who they kind of made up with but he has he's 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 definitely gone his way to really attack those dudes too my son maybe he's not somebody super popular but they seem to always have back and forths he does seem to bark a lot when people you know try to step to him so this narrative that he only goes against women isn't necessarily true the one thing you can say as a slight academic definitely makes him look bad is the fact that as a man he seems to enjoy arguing with women which is something as a gentleman or something as a stand-up guy you probably shouldn't be doing going out of your way to insult women and you know enjoy arguing them arguing with them and kind of going back and forth is a little bit part of my french bitch made that's not the coolest thing to do in the world and maybe that's generally academics problem he's just not cool he might be incredibly rich incredibly popular um he's got obviously a very influential platform in terms of his blog and he's sorry um you know his instagram account and everything that he does on there in terms of social media stuff because he's basically like a online hip-hop magazine basically but in terms of the cool factor he isn't he's the opposite of that he's basically lame so i think maybe that's maybe a little insecurity that he can't really get over because you know if you're not cool you can't suddenly be cool just because you have money if anything it's going to make you extra lame because now you're just a lame guy with loads of money in your pocket so that happens and i think somebody like lucas about calling him out who you'd imagine is at the top of the coolness levels it can maybe rub you up the wrong way so i can understand why he decided to go a little bit crazy so he says that and then academic just says decides to go extra extra hard at Lucas Abat and I'm going to play the clips there's about three of them back to back and we're just going to talk about it at the end but it's just funny to see academics kind of cross over to my world because I would have never assumed him having a beef with anybody that I'm kind of you know 
adjacent with or near to or you know i have an interest in in terms of the field that i'm kind of into and whatnot but it's just hilarious to see him go at lucas about because funnily enough even though he probably thinks lucas about is a bitch because of what he wears and what he looks like and how he poses if they had to fight too i would put our money on luca as well i have a feeling someone like a luca who grew up in new york who looks the way he does um had to kind of you know defend himself a few times and try to you know basically remind people that just because i wear high heels doesn't mean i'm a bitch so i'm definitely gonna go for him you know as just a underdog and also you know lucas sabat is is in far better shape than academics if look inside just to run run you know run in circles around him you probably tire him out anyway and be able to put the beats on him so that wouldn't be too difficult but i just love the energy that academics is bringing towards him because he just wants all the smoke all the smoke pussy nigga like you ain't talking to me period don't act like it's just only for females because i've been waiting to at Jersey City, oh, I'll go back again. you ain't talking to me, period. Don't act like it's just only for female. Because I've been waiting to catch a nigga just like you. So, pussy nigga, if you want to come meet me, you could come meet me. I'm in Jersey at Jersey City. <laughs> and then the next one. You. Fuck the females. I believe you. You a bitch, your mama a bitch, your daughter a bitch. Fuck everything about you, nigga. Fuck everybody who dead in your family. Come put I don't think he has a daughter, but I think the whole point of this tirade is just to insult as many people as possible to get Luca to crash out. But I don't think Luca has a daughter. He may have one, but I don't think he does. Up on me. I will meet up with you. Yep. He don't want no smoke. That's what I'm trying to tell you. These Yo. pussy niggas love to say act only fucks with females, but I really want it with a nigga like this. I want it. Pause. Hey, yo, act yo, like a drill rapper right yo, now. Hey, yo, he's hey, trying to rap. Act fashion now, bro. Right check the comments. They pressing them. Yo, act. Yo, act. Yo, bro, yo, look yo, at this yo, pussy act. nigga. Yo, look, he yo, expected yo, me to spin. Yo, nigga, I never expected to spin because I don't be spinning. All I'm just trying to say, you said that I only mess with females. I'm just trying to say I'm down to do the disrespect. I'm down to whatever you thought I was disrespect. So that's basically what he said. You know, he basically made it known that he was on whatever smoke he was on. But the funny thing is, Luca's response was a little bit underwhelming and kind of disappointing. If somebody decides to talk to you that way, I know you can't be barking on the internet and replying to him. It's a waste of time. I get it. But this did seem a little bit like he was copping, please. So after he said that and academic said what he said, he goes back on his Twitter and somebody says to him on Twitter, he's coming at you really right now on stream. Um, Lucas about replies, damn it, I missed it. Anyone clip it? Laughing emoji. Next tweet, somebody said something else to him. He expects me to spin. I'm an actor. I spend most of my year overseas. Why would I spin a YouTuber, vlogger? I don't advertise being tough, but you do, which is weird, right? Because you can't get involved in the beef. Say what you said there at the bottom and then suddenly say, but I'm an actor, I'm an actor, I'm an actor. That's a little bit bitch made in my opinion as well. Um, if you don't want to get involved, just don't say nothing and keep it moving. But hey, it is what it is. And it continues here. It says, um, yes, I'm pussy. I'll be in Tokyo this weekend if you want to spin. That's that's funny and a bit of a flex. Let's be real, right? I'll be in Harajuku if you want to come and spin. If you want to take a 10, like, imagine taking a 20 hour flight to go and fight someone. <laughs> because they called you out and said that you know you only bully girls that would be absolutely hilarious but anyway that's what happened they went back and forth like i said before i still have my money on luca i think if he just puts on these hulkers and runs around even if he puts on these flipping rico and kiss boots i think he could probably still thump out academics i don't think he can fight in any way shape or form 